Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm going to teach you how to make embedded message in Discord. I know you're familiar with Discord right now and embedded messages. And now how to do this, you're going to need a third-party application first called Embedder.net. You can pause the video and copy the link right here, embed or embedder.net, and simply click on this button. Once you click on this button, just invite the bot on your server, and I'll see you once inside. Now welcome back to the video. Right now this is gonna be my personal server, as you can see here, I have a lot of AI here. I have Domo, I have Midjourney, Noises right here, and of course Embedder. You'll see this text right here, Embedder just landed. That means you already have a better inside your server. Of course, to get started here, we're gonna create a channel first. I think I'm gonna create a text channel. I'm gonna name this one Sample Channel, something like that. Create channel right there, and now I have a sample channel here. I'm gonna go with General, and to get started, type in slash embed. Simply, with that option right there, click on Enter. It's gonna start our process. Now, as you can see right here, this is going to be the default embedded. Now, we're going to have our options, the author, the title, descriptions, up to message. You can save, paste, or JSON right here, basically to save point where you started. You can even resubmit or reshuffle everything or randomize, unembedded. Now, for example, let's type with title first. If I click on this button, it's going to ask me, what would you like to set a template style to? You can leave empty if you don't want to or skip a question here. But for now, I'm going to name this one sample text or let's just say sample message, something like that. And simply click on enter, just like talking to a bot. Second question or follow up, what would you like to set as an embedded style URL? So since I don't have or I don't want to set a URL, I'm going to leave an empty. Next up, we already have a real life preview of what's going on here. And now let's try with this one since we have a title. How about we go now for color? Now for color, we're going to have a basic color choices. We have white, aqua green, and so much more. But for others, you can use a hex code. If you're not familiar with the hex code, to access it, go to settings. Server settings should be around here somewhere. There we live. And now go under roles, click one role, and choose this colors. Like this one right here, this is going to be the hex color. For example, I want to click on this one. Make sure you copy it. Escape. Let me just click on reset. Escape. And choose a color. Go to others, and then basically paste the code. As you can see right here, there, we have the color green, or basically a hex code we got from earlier and now we already have our color now let's move over with our thumbnail now for thumbnail this is basically an image inside your embedded so you're just gonna ask for the embedded style thumbnail property to for example what would you like to set the embedded thumbnails property basically a name i'm gonna type this one sample image click on enter so it's gonna be an invalid url Basically, this message will be deleted and click on thumbnail now. I'm just showing you guys that if you click a wrong one or a wrong reply, you will not go through. So to get the property or the correct one, choose a photo or an image inside Midjourney, Discord or any other bots here. Just an image. So we're going to use this one. Don't just copy the link. Click open in browser. So once you have it on your browser, copy this link right there. Just to make sure, I'm going to use cut. And I'm going to go back on Discord. Okay, once I'm back, I'm just going to paste the link right there. Click on enter. And there we have it. We have successfully embedded a thumbnail inside it. Of course, we already have a thumbnail. How about we go to a timestamp or an image? Something like that. If I click on image right now, it's just going to ask me for another link. So I'm just going to look for a link here on an image that I see fit. Uh, this is all Wonder Woman. So please check it out if you like. I think I'm going to go with this guy right here. I'm going to click on it. Open in browser. I'm going to copy or cut the link just to be sure. And I'm going to go back on Discord. 
So once I'm back, I'm going to click on the paste option, reply there. And now I have a image or basically this is what you call a cover photo. Now we already have a title, an image color, a cover photo or an image. How about the important one? A description, right? If I click on description right now, what would you like to set the embedded description property to? So I'm just going to type in whatever you have here. For example, sample description. Like so, if I paste a YouTube channel here, and then they can follow me there. For example, I'm just going to type in a random YouTube channel. Like so, I'm just going to type in here sample 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And basically, they can now enable this one and see the message as they see fit. If I click on enter, it will be set right there. Real-time preview is very awesome. Now, for example, I'm satisfied with this one, whatever everything I have. Footer is basically your name. Fields timestamp is right there, whatever time you're doing this one. Footer, if I type in this one, I'm going to type in this footer. And with that, you can now choose a URL. I'm going to leave this one empty. And there we have it. We have a name there under footer. Now, for example, you're in a rush and you want to take a break from embedding. And you're, you're not really done here. So they have an option where you can save whatever you're doing on. And then just go back on whatever you save point here. Now, this is the present list, present delete, present load, and present view. Now, for example, you're done now and you're really satisfied with whatever you have. Simply click on save. And then if you click on save right there, you need to name your preset. I'm going to name this one. Let's just say sample one, something like that. So your preset pre sample one has been saved. This message will be deleted in six, five, four. Basically, it's just a timer. Now, if I want to load that one up, I'm going to type in preset list. Choose one here. Like there. Choose that one right there and simply choose this one. I think this is going to be preset sample one. If I want this to load up, I'm going to type in preset load like that one. I'm going to type in sample one, click on enter. And there we have it. I can now submit this one as I say fit. And now please select how would you like this to be sent and just choose as an embedder, a webhook or a existing webhook link. If you choose webhook like so, it will ask you which channel. For example, I want this one to go to the one I created earlier, the sample channel. So what would you like to set as a webhook's name? I'm going to see this one sample hook. Click on enter. And then with that being said, a profile picture. I think I'm going to choose a Wonder Woman now. This one right here. I'm going to go open in browser. Copy this one. Click on cut. Go back on Discord. And basically reply to the bot. Click on enter. Just wait for it to load up, and there we have it. You can now see this one on this embedded message in this channel. Easy as that. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.